So, the plan. We had a strategic assessment, as Scott said, in 2011, and we, we produced the first original plan, the Boston Commitment, which was 2010 to, sorry, 2012 to 2015, the three years, the first three years that we had just finished. So, that plan is ongoing, we need to refresh it. Here is the new plan with additional, um, additional tasks, additional headings, things that have come from the community, things that have come from all the uh, work that we've done with all the consultations. So we've added to it. We've looked at the, the situation as it is now, as opposed to how it was in 2011. Some things have improved, some things have not improved. You know, there's, there's all kinds of things. Things move along. You know, nothing stays the same ever. So we must do the work that is relevant to the situation as it is now. And that is what we're about to do. And Cat's put so much work, and all the team, into creating this new commitment document, the bubble diagram with all the different headings, and we really, really um, appreciate and value any input that you can give this evening and that you have already. So I think, I don't know if Chris wants to add to that. The improvements, well, nothing has changed in Boston. Nothing has got any better in Boston now. Nothing over has the got better. Nothing has got better. It's a perception. Where Churchill, I live, where I live in Churchill Road, just before the last Boston Forum meeting, a guy was battered with a scaffold pole, he's ever put through a fish tank and he's stabbed twice in the leg. It's not getting there's drug dealing down there all the time. Nothing's right. changed uh, in 15 years that I've been here. It's as bad as it was 15, it's 15 years ago as it is today. And that is your perception. No, it's my belief. I see. I see it on the street every day around. Ralph, right. hey, 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 Ralph, no, let me speak, please. You, you're very good at talking over people when we're trying to answer the questions that you put forward. And this young man over here so, asks a very, very important question. The perception is nothing has changed in right. the last four years. A lot of people have said things are getting better in the last four years. Bad things happen. We all know bad things happen. We cannot stop people being antisocial on our streets. We cannot stop bad things happening to people on our streets. It doesn't just happen in Boscombe, it doesn't just happen in Bournemouth, it happens all over England. There are big, big, bad people who will do bad things. As a local authority, we have committed a massive amount of resource. We've committed a lot of money, a lot of officer time, a lot of commitment from the community. The community groups that we go to, month in, month out, have been feeding the stuff into the clubs, which you found has been a massive Thinking microphone. Which is why there's been an amount of arrests. It's only through the public, the general public, Basically, being the eyes and ears of the police and feeding that data around, are people going to get arrested? And that is what we want. We want the bad people to be arrested. We want those drug dealers to be arrested. We want those poor people who are addicted to be supported. So yes, things are not perfect. We've still got that terrible stigma of an area of deprivation. None of us want that. I moved back here 17 years ago after moving down here in 73 and moving away to, to do work and then come back again. And the Boston that I saw, it was not good. I've devoted a number of, well, quite a lot of years now, 15 years of my life, doing some community work and then the last eight years as councillor, trying to make things better. And the only thing that is going to help make things better is the community. And we are getting behind the police, we're getting behind the council, and as a community, Ralph, we are making things better in Boston. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think, uh, I think uh, one of the... Can I, just, can I just add to that, please, that where I live, uh, things certainly have gone a lot better. Uh, and I live far from Chester Gardens. Uh, we've had problems for many, many years with um, kicking prostitution. And over the last 18 months to two years, by working with the council, working with the police, and ourselves as a home watch group, we have managed to persuade the police to do something about it, and persuade the council to do something about it. 
and continue doing something about it. So far it's working and it, it has undoubtedly been a success. Uh, it's never going to be a 100% success, such as the nature of the problem. But if we keep on with the council and keep on with the police, at least we can maintain the level of improvement that we've had. So things have improved, they are improving, no, no. Boscombe is better. Okay, well, so we're going to we're just take it off from there. I think, I think one of the things I'm really pleased to see coming in is um, 